How's it going everybody? I'm Tractor Head 04. I want to apologize first off for uh, the wind noise if there's any here. It's a bit breezy outside today so uh, not a whole lot I can do about it but hopefully the audio is not too bad. I was doing some rearranging in the garage here today and uh, have a tractor headed out the door tomorrow so since I needed to rearrange everything, I thought it might be cool, seeing as I have uh, Cub Cadet Series 1 through 5 sitting here all uh, lined up, I thought it might be kind of cool to uh, get them out and uh, sort of just walk down the line, show some of the differences in them, and just, uh, I guess, kind of show everybody the evolution of uh, the early Cub Cadets at least. So uh, let me get started here. Uh, First off here, we've got my 1961 Cub Cadet original model. This tractor was built in February of 1961. They started production of the tractor itself in January, so uh, it's a fairly early one. According to the numbers, serial numbers, it's uh, apparently what would be one of the first 1500 off the assembly line. It's in uh, fully original shape. I probably am intending to leave it that way just because it hasn't been touched in all these years really so uh, just kind of cool to have the original factory patina and stuff on it especially being such an early one going down the line here we go to 1963 this is uh, another original of mine um, if you can see it's got a little bit different front plate and everything than the other one uh, this one is actually set up with a uh, sort of unique option for the original tractors uh, it's set up with the newer style mower and uh, PTO clutch on the front as opposed to the uh, mower engage on the uh, mower deck itself on the early tractors it was uh, apparently from what I've been told and read it was sort of a safety thing and also I'm sure they wanted to uh, sell some parts for the older tractors once they come out with the newer ones so uh, i'm sure that's why they did it too but it's definitely really unique i've only ever seen a couple online and uh, one other in person so it's really neat to have it set up that way moving on down here we have what would be uh, i guess considered the first of the true narrow frames uh, this is a 1964 cup cadet 100 model they started production of these in 1963, but this one is in uh, early, well, not early, it's uh, October of 1964, so uh, it's sort of mid-run, I suppose. Next up is a tractor I'm storing for a buddy of mine. Uh, this is his 1965 Cub Cadet 100 model. Next up, we've got the first of the Cub Cadet hydrostatic drive tractors. Uh, they started production of these in 1966, and production of this body style tractor started in 1965, but the hydros didn't come out till uh, 1966. This is a Model 123, and this one was built in 1967, actually. Next up here we have uh, a 1969 Cup Cadet Model 125. This tractor is headed to my aunt and uncle's place, so that's partially why I wanted to get footage of all these together because uh, once this leave I'll have a uh, gap in the uh, line up here. I'll have uh, one of the series missing, so. But like I said, this is a uh, 1969 125 model. They started production of these in 1967 and ran them until uh, 1969. So, Next up we have another 1969 tractor. Uh, this is uh, my newest one. It is a Model 73 and uh, being a 1969 it was uh, an early run for the uh, for the series it uh, likely may have got sold in 1970 as and sold as a 70 year tractor um, to be honest but uh, the serial number on it states that it is uh, built in 1969 um, if you notice uh, between this one and some of the other ones here uh, not the 100 I guess per se but uh, 
The 73 was one of the uh, economy line series, so it lacked uh, a lot of the features that people were wanting on some of the bigger ones here, like the uh, full fender and foot plate setups. Uh, headlights and stuff were an option on all of them, but these were basically just sold as a bare bones worker tractor. And besides the fenders, uh, that's what this one pretty much is. Um, if you can see, it's got a rear blade on it. I uh, have added the three point to it and uh, the blade. So, and I can't remember from the previous owner if this even had the fenders on it when he got it, but uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to uh, walk down the line here and uh, just kind of show off uh, some of my cubs and of course my buddies there in the middle. Um, but this is probably the first time I've had uh, most of mine uh, lined up. And definitely the first time I've had the first five series all lined up at once. So, anyways, uh, I will just do a quick walk up the line here so you guys can see everything again real quick. And that's pretty much it. I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please uh, be sure to subscribe. I try and upload as often as I can um, with everything going on this year. Uh, not sure how many tractor shows and stuff there'll be that I usually go to and take stuff to and film. But uh, I'll try and get uh, some sort of content out here. But anyways, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody watching and have a good day.